everyone and welcome to the Arts Council Oklahoma City's 2015 Festival of the Arts. We are so excited you are here today. And what a beautiful day, sunshine, you can't beat that. Knock on wood, we know how the rain is here. I'm Ashley Kringen, I'm a reporter with News Channel 4. We like to wake up with you guys bright and early in the morning. And I'm joined by my lovely colleague. Yeah, I'm Lacey Lett, uh, host of Rise and Shine on KAUT, and I do some stuff in the morning on News Channel 4 as well. Thanks again for you guys coming out, and we definitely want to start with some wonderful gentlemen this morning. We're starting with uh, the colors by the Boy Scout Troop 4 from Westminster Woo! Presbyterian Church. So let's go ahead, they're gonna do the Pledge of Allegiance. Woo! Audience, please stand. Color Guard, attention. Color Guard, forward march. Color Guard, halt. Color Guard, prepare to host, post the colors. Color Guard, post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to Color Guard, dismissed. Audience, you may sit down. Thank you, gentlemen, appreciate it. And can we get our 11-year-old, wonderful singing, Olivia Kay? She's going to do the national anthem for us. Olivia's voice that knocked the flag over. She is incredible. So we also want to talk a little bit about downtown Oklahoma City and just how much it has evolved. We love seeing the growth just like all of you. I know Lacey and I both live downtown and we run a lot outside especially through the gardens. So it's just amazing to be a part of this big event. Yeah we probably won't be running through the gardens for the next six days <laughs> but on a typical occasion yeah love being down here love seeing the growth Love seeing the evolution of even the Festival of the Arts, which I know we'll talk a little bit more about with the mayor, but I mean, it's just wonderful just to look behind you, see the Devon Tower, see the renovations to the Myriad Gardens, and to be able to use it for this festival is just pretty remarkable. Plus, not to mention, we are home to the Oklahoma City Thunder, Woo! and the Barons, of course, and the Oklahoma City Dodgers, which is awesome. And we do have a special presentation coming up, performance from the Thunder Drummers. That's later on, so you have to stay tuned. And of course, we want to recognize Oklahoma City Mayor Mick Cornett. He's joining us today right here. You'll hear from him in just a few minutes. 
And we also have a number of different state officials and members of the city council, county commissioners. I see some folks out in the audience there to celebrate with us at the 49th Annual Festival of the Arts. Raise your hands just so we can thank you. I see you, Meg. <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here and helping out. It's now our pleasure to introduce to you two pretty incredible people who have spent lots of hours and time apart from their full-time jobs to make this day happen. So we've got two people, co-chairs, that join us. We have Lewis Price as well as Betsy Brunstetter. Yay! Yeah, round of applause. wind what would we do without the wind welcome to the 2015 Oklahoma City Festival of the Arts we promise you that this year will be a proud demonstration of all of the the arts in Oklahoma uh, we have 144 artists 21 food vendors and many many culinary delights and 200 performances here at the festival. We've been working hard <clears throat> to carry on the 49 year tradition of the festival while striving to introduce new and exciting ideas. We've moved several of our favorite venues further into the Myriad Gardens. The children's area is now near the Great Lawn Stage where families can enjoy art projects, an art mart just for kids, and an interactive art installation, our creative station, creation station. Come see the artistic processes at the Artful Experience, which is now located in the Minder's Garden. And another favorite, Pottery Place, is relocated to the southeast corner of the Myriad Gardens across the street from the Chesapeake Arena. And it's coming up on lunchtime. So returning favorites like Strawberries Newport and Indian Tacos and some street new treats like Kaiser's Ice Cream and Say Sabone are out on the International Food Row. We also have the demonstration, um, the culinary demonstration tent over um, in the southwest corner, sorry, southwest, yeah, southwest corner of the, we've been doing this for two weeks, um, the corner of the Myriad Garden. Every bite, every drink, and every art purchase that's made at the festival supports Arts Council of Oklahoma City's mission of bringing the arts and the community together. Proceeds of the festival are used to support and produce community-wide events such as Opening Night, Oklahoma City Storytelling Festival, the Sunday Twilight Concert Series, Art Moves, Out of the Box, and All Access Arts, arts education programs for children, youth, and seniors. Each year, the activities of Arts Council Oklahoma City reaches over a million people through its activities and events. It is no doubt that this event has an incredibly positive impact on our community. Also, we are very, very thankful for so many people, our volunteers, our artists, our performers, and to the city, county, and state governments. Let us all give them a hand. We'd also like to recognize a special group of people, the Fest Officios. This unique group of past festival chairs, getting choked up thinking about them, has left their each, each and each one of them has left their own footprint on the festival. They have been here this year to encourage us and helped us make the festival what it is today. Any festivals at Fest officios out, out there, please raise your hand so we can give them a hand. And I think there's a bunch of them right over there. We also would like to thank our sponsors We'd like to ask representatives from each corporation to stand and be recognized as we call your names. The festival is presented this year by Chesapeake Energy Corporation and Devon Energy Corporation. Thank you very much. The official sponsors, official sponsors of the event are Midfirst Bank, the official bank of the Festival of the Arts, 
The Oklahoman, and NewsOK.com. Additional support is provided by Sonic, America's Drive-In, Ozarka Water and Coffee Service, ImageNet Consulting, Insight Creative, Insight Creative Group, Tyler Media Group, the Kirkpatrick Family Fund, the Oklahoma Arts Council, the National Endowment for the Arts, and Allied Arts. Thank you to all of our sponsors for your continued support of the arts in Oklahoma City. Most importantly, this art festival wouldn't help it wouldn't happen without the help of all of the volunteers, all the community community members that have joined in to make this arts festival very special. We have over 5,000 volunteers on 40 different committees to make this possible. Thanks again, and enjoy the 49th annual Festival of the Arts. Five thousand volunteers so many people that it takes to put this on make this such a success thousands upon thousands of people come out to this every year something I enjoy every single year so a big part of this of course is the city of Oklahoma City they've been such an important partner in making this festival possible somebody so instrumental to that it is my pleasure to introduce you guys Mayor Mick Cornett thank you all very much and uh, please tell Mike Morgan uh, that we need good weather just like this uh, the rest of the week. Six days ahead. I, I rest assured that if you're here now, when you have six days to go, if you're here now, there are, are two things I can, I can rest assured that, that, that fit. You are a fan of the arts and you are a fan of Oklahoma City. Applaud if that's you. And uh, it, it appears to be unanimous. I want to thank Olivia for a beautiful rendition of the national anthem. I don't know if she's still here, but maybe she can hear us if we applaud loudly enough. Uh, and I, I think the, 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 the power of her voice knocked the flag over. And I don't know if you saw it, but Councilman Greenwell and Peter DeLisi and Councilwoman Sawyer grabbed it, and it, it looked like Iwo Jima as it was, as it was starting to go to the side. But um, we calamity averted. Um, I, I want to remind everybody just how important it is that we support this event. Um, you may have come here for the food, you may have come here for the art, but this is one of the unique events of the year that makes Oklahoma City the great place it is. Um, we have succeeded in so many areas around this, air, this, this city and we have so many young people moving to the city and we tend to think and take some of the things that we've had for a long time for granted. And we should not take this event for granted. It means a lot to our local economy, but it certainly means a lot to keeping this the type of city that we want to have. And that is one that not only embraces the arts, but supports the arts and continue to attract artists from all over the country to locate to Oklahoma City and to make this their home. So with that, I will sit down knowing the shorter my speech, the sooner I get to eat. And once again, thank you for supporting the arts and thank you for supporting Oklahoma City. Now we'd like to invite Betsy and Lewis back up. You guys have a special gift for our distinguished guests. What might that be? I think something art related. You're right. <laughs> Lacey, Kristen, and Mayor Cornette, we'd, we'd like to present to you a copy of our official poster for this year. It's a painting, a, a poster of a painting by Carol Joy Shannon uh, who's our festival artist. It's Festival on Hudson, and uh, Kristen Lacey and, and Mayor Cornette uh, to commemorate the final year that the Arts Festival will be located in this venue after 30 years, moving back north to the City Hall and the Civic Center uh, Music Hall space. Uh, this is our poster this year. We hope you enjoy it, and we're very proud to be able to give it to you. Thank you. What's so cool is this is the last year that the Festival of the Arts is going to be at this location. There are going to be other things going in place of this, so construction will be underway. They'll be moving the Festival of the Arts out to the Civic Center, which is the first place it was in the, in the beginning. So if you guys get a chance, get one of these posters. 
definitely a keepsake item. Yes, it is, and this is just an example of how vibrant the downtown Oklahoma City community is. We love being here, so we want to thank you for attending the 49th Festival of the Arts. It starts now. There's already a lot of people here.